Good afternoon, everybody. It's October 11, 2011. I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. Let's take a look at the weather map this evening, and you see this cold front out to the west. It's going to be moving east over the next 24 to 48 hours, and this is going to bring with it a chance of showers and thunderstorms to our region. Best chance of rain will arrive on Wednesday night and continue into the first half of Thursday. Move ahead to tomorrow's forecast, and you see the front moving east. Area low pressure over Texas. Some heavy thunderstorms, possibly severe over Missouri and Arkansas, but I'm thinking right now the severe risk in our region will be minimal at the best. Let's move ahead to Thursday and you see the low pressure over the Great Lakes with a cold front trailing through Kentucky and Tennessee. This will help usher in some cooler air on Thursday afternoon along with some gusty winds. Let's take a look at the radar this evening and put that into animation. You see a few showers and thunderstorms off to our southeast over Tennessee and this area of showers and thunderstorms trying to develop over Missouri and Arkansas. This is what we'll be watching over the upcoming 24 to 48 hour period in our region. Show you satellite as well and you can see watch this area out here as the showers and thunderstorms develop ahead of the cold front there they go right there so we'll be keeping an eye on that some moisture off to our east a former semi-tropical system that moved ashore in Florida how much rain can we expect around the numbers here it looks like a quarter of an inch to maybe up to a half an inch in our region uh, this is a combination of models and it shows about a half an inch for Paducah we'll see where that comes in at but that sounds about right we look at the severe weather outlook for Wednesday and you see the storm prediction center has issued a slight risk for parts of Missouri down to Arkansas this green area a large area that's just general thunderstorms uh, expected to remain below severe limits run the NAM model here from uh, rightweather.com this is Wednesday uh, morning you see just some showers to our west there and then Wednesday afternoon tries to develop a few showers over us but I really think most of this is going to wait until Wednesday night here we go into Wednesday night you see the cold front coming Thursday morning a line of showers and thunderstorms ahead of the front and then rain ending Thursday afternoon you see it pushing off there to the east we'll show you the jet stream here at the 500 millibar level these bright colors, those are high winds at a loft, about 18,000 feet. You see a trough forming in the east. Usually when we see a trough, that means cooler weather. This is Thursday night and Friday. Trough over us, going to bring a little bit cooler weather to the region. Going to continue into Saturday and then a little bit of a moderation on Sunday before possibly another system. Here we go, Monday and Tuesday, another sharp trough developing with colder air next week. We'll keep an eye on that. Plenty of time to watch that. That. Let's move it here, Head. You can go to the weatherobservatory.com, click on seven day forecast, and you can see most of these graphics show you the forecast highs for Wednesday, and you see middle. 70s for most of us maybe some upper 70s see how much sunshine we get and then Thursday behind the cold front mostly in the upper 60s maybe touch 70 uh, a little cooler in the afternoon and Friday uh, upper 60s lower 70s not bad for the uh, for middle of October you see there on Saturday as well 70s Sunday a little warmer but still mostly in the 70s and then Monday possibly another system with some clouds knocks us down a few degrees but still in the 70s not too bad we see the uh, once again let me show you the rainfall graphic this is for tomorrow and then tomorrow night and Thursday you see accumulation of rainfall the total of that look up here at the scale about a quarter of an inch to maybe a half an inch this darker green is a half an inch light green here is a quarter of an inch maybe a little more than that if there's a few thunderstorms obviously we'll pick up a little more rain again as far as severe weather I'm not expecting any severe thunderstorms we'll keep an eye on it in case something sneaks in the best chance of that would be over Missouri if it were to occur again keep an eye on it and I'll update in the morning have a good evening